Okay, was everybody ready? I didn't see. All right, here we go. Big old gamers now. Yeah. We're in a plus 20 like Halls of Atonement as here. Blood Death Knight. My first 20 as a healer. Let's uh, get it. So running uh, with some friends and friends of friends and friends of friends and friends. Uh, this is my talent setup, and I'm running Draven with these conduits. Uh, affixes this week are tyrannical, inspiring, uh, and quaking. Abilities in the wrong order there. That was a terrible opening, but uh, we survived, so all is well in the world. Always PI the tank. <laughs> Sounds like uh, our Shadow Priest accidentally PI'd me, so. I'd type, but as soon as I type, I'm gonna die. So, cannot do that. Mm. Oh my god, that kiting here. health bar. <laughs> yep, it's all good. I'm kiting. Alright. We're chilling. Remember, uh, I, I pulled I, gargoyle. My bad. Okay, it's okay. Remember that when I get below thirty percent health, I take yeah. uh, forty percent reduced damage. So it is yeah. okay. I got gotcha. you. I'm in trouble now though because I don't have burning power. Okay, I'm good again. Stagger there for a second. Boy, we're just not getting any of these kicks. Me included. Pull these groundskeepers. First kick. You want to trade with me? Yeah, I got you. I got next. Next is you. I got next. See, I'm being bad. I'm overcapping on runic power here. I need to. I'm trying to save it, but uh, overcapping does nobody any good. So. Also, another thing I'm bad about is I do not use vampiric blood nearly enough. So that's actually one of the reasons, especially when I'm running Venthyr, I'm I'm using Bone Storm more. Because I forget to use vampiric blood. I should just macro it in <laughs> with some other stuff until I remember to use it. Uh, but it is, or maybe I should move it somewhere on my bar where I pay attention a little bit more to it. Because that is such a good cooldown. And it's short too, minute and a half. And with uh, red uh, thirst or whatever it's called, it's reduced even further. Okay, 
I gotta get my bone shield stacks up. Those fell off. Okay, we're okay. Okay, and he's got Earth Alley up, so we're gonna go ahead and chain pull here. Uh, Demon Hunter popping off. Rip dagger on the shard while I was grabbing everything. I don't have enough damage as blood. I'm not strong enough. Just gonna go ahead and uh, AMS this. Make the healer's life easier. Definitely want to interrupt those collect sins so we don't get all the adds and all the damage that that does. Aside from life, that's that nasty magic debuff. So that needs to be dispelled instantly by the healer. Because if that overlaps with a thrash, somebody's dead. Whee. I'm gonna pull this guy back up the stairs a little bit. This demon hunter keeps popping off and ripping aggro and stuff. Right on a pull. He's too big! That's uh, the nice thing about Shadow Priests is they've got Fade. And I, I've just been doing this on my DK for so long. I did it uh, key, uh, I don't remember if it was today or last night, on my uh, Priest. And uh, this boss, or this mini boss specifically with the slow, the 50% movement slow? Oh my gosh, it feels terrible on a priest. Because as a DK, I never move slower than 70% movement speed because of death advance. And I've gotten so used to that. So trying to go back and dodge everything as a priest. I also am not used to not having so many defensives now, so I died a couple times. Granted, I've got like 20k less health on my priest than my DK on, on DPS specs, so... And way less than blood spec. Blood spec, I've got uh, like 100, 102, I think, ish. All right. Slow him so I can actually go and start the next pack. Wanted to pull all that together because doing that small pat is is not very fun. I'm gonna pull this over here, and we're gonna go ahead and control it, and then take all this. I'm gonna make sure that I get my bone shield stacks up before they expire. I missed a kick here. Got obliterators. Okay, we can go ahead and bone shield here. Also gonna go ahead. Gonna go ahead and uh, AMZ. Need to watch out because they're, I'm probably gonna lose aggro on the shard. AMS this. There's the siphon life. We can't really interrupt that. <clears throat> I 
make sure I refresh my bone shield stacks as we're ending this pack. Want to end with high bone shield and high um, runic power, which I did, so that's good. Uh, do not want to pull the stoneborn here. So I'm going to actually pull these away just a little bit. Try to be better about pointing the frontals away from the group here. Houndmaster, I'm watching after the shoot. That's the stun. So once the Houndmaster hits 50% health, uh, they will do one more shoot cast, and then their very next cast will always be Loyal Beasts. If you interrupt Loyal Beasts, they will not recast it. Loyal Beast, again, is the one that uh, makes the... Uh, whatever the dog's really big and scary so if you interrupt that that's really huge always pull that with a taunt um, I've actually never tried to see if super strain will mess that up but I don't want to figure out so for the double cast you just chain this and the trick is to start the cast as the projectile is hitting for the first one I have to make reflex Lux. see have a good night yes please Actually, that was probably a bad call. We needed that for the next boss, but that's okay. Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. It's okay, we'll, we'll survive. So here I'm going to try to stack these. That's two. The fourth cast is the one that starts the beams. Here's third. Scoot him out for the fourth one. Let's try to stack it on top of this. Okay, now it's time for beams. That was my bad. I killed him trying to stack the stuff, but I dragged it right on top of him. Nice to see you too, Root. Catch you later, dude. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm not claiming responsibility for that one. He was right on top of me. I don't blame you. these frontals away from the group here. Like, not used to you taking actual damage, so like, <laughs> your ping pong health bar. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's definitely ping ponging a lot more now. That was. Okay, we skip now. Oh shit, I don't have a uh, invis pot. Just, uh, just death run. We'll be able to res you up here. Let's try to make it as far as you can. 
Might need to onk and run again. Alright. Rip priest. Onk and run again. Alright. Uh, actually, he's can. Oh. Well, do like. You keep, keep. Okay. Okay, he'll res you. Idea. Yeah, he'll res you and then you res uh, Virial. As soon as Viral's up, I'm pulling. Moving to the left over here. We'll just bait all the bloods over on this side. Yeah, this boss not having Lust Force stinks, but it's not so bad on uh, Blood Decay. Because every third one I can Gore Fiends. This next stone call, I'm gonna move to the other side. for him. I have Gorfins for this one. As long as we get this next stomp, we're okay. Can use AMZ, AMS to cancel that. Should be good to just tunnel here. Tough without lust. We were all right. That was my bad on the call.
Let me go ahead and vampiric blood here. Probably didn't need to onk, to be honest. Yeah, went for the the skip thing. Yeah, he was probably fine. Try to make up for lost time. And top off real quick, okay. We're gonna skip Sagadon. Oh, we can save Lust. This one is... this one's easy. You can pretty well ignore me on this fight if you need to. I, I take like no damage. I, I DKs have really good magic resist um, tanking. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I remember on launch this fight was, stressed everybody out because the cans didn't replenish. This is like the hardest boss. Still timeable, right? Oh yeah.
little more soul back there. As long as the demon hunter doesn't die twice on this next boss, we're good. I, I fully accept credit for one of his deaths, but the other two, not so much. Alright, let's kill the dude. So I can AMS the um, stigma of prides. That. Boom. So that's really nice. So being able to avoid those is huge. I'm gonna double soak uh, the, the things. Oh, like two pillars? Yeah. Right. So good practice if you've got a tank who's doing this. Uh, tank soaks two of them, and you soak two of them, and then there's only two people to heal. It's really easy. I'll get the ones furthest from the stairs. time three minutes as long as we don't have a wipe or something we should be good to go okay I'm gonna I got hit by that so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, whatever what's better same too I'll get the two away from the stairs Cancel the stigma. Uh, everybody should know this at this point in the expansion, but if you don't, you can tell which way those pillar, those uh, statues are going to fly based on the way that they're facing, so that's going to fly that way. So, a little tip for anybody who might be newer to the expansion. Pretty cool. Sigma, I cannot negate that, so I'm going to go ahead and Aegis that. Getting a little low on runic power, I'm going to go ahead and dance from your weapon, because it's up. Alright, GG, do a nice job. Ooh, a saucy key.